Hello and welcome back to my Nissan Leaf. So if you've been following me, you know I've done some aero mods. I've done the reverse mud flaps front and rear. Uh, what they do is they act as uh, wheel dams to divert the air around the wheels in a smooth pattern uh, versus coming across the wheel in a rough turbulent pattern. You can see the stock flaps here, down here have integrated with into my reverse mud flaps so uh, what these do is just kind of block that tire as much as possible. Also what I've done is put a grill block in. You can see I have a vent hole here uh, just so that it provides some air to the radiators, to AC and also to the temperature, uh, the thermometer. Uh, that little holes I found is um, optimum for winter temperatures, um, which it's winter time right now, even though it's 65 degrees out and I'm wearing short sleeves. So anyway, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do stage two of aero mods to my leaf in the hopes of gaining a little bit more efficiency. Uh, when I did these reverse guards and the front air dam, I increased uh, point two miles per kilowatt hour over the stock configuration um, and I was able to test that on driving back to back on a, a relatively flat road and then taking off the mods and going again but I don't think that it's going to be as easy to do that with these next mods so I'm not going to worry about it but also I think these things are going to result in maybe 0.1 um, at the maximum uh, maybe a little bit more but uh, I'm just hoping for a cumulative effect of uh, aerodynamic efficiency, little improvements all over, uh, increased air pressure in my tires, better driving, and maybe in the future I'm going to lower the car uh, just so it has a little bit stiffer suspension and less frontal area. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install these things. Let me show you what they are. So first I've got uh, these are vortex generators. Um, the airflow comes this way. It's like a kind of a trifork thing. But what these do is they generate vortices. And what I'm going to do is put these around the rear hatch here on top. And then also, um, if I have enough, I'll put them on the side. What they're going to do is create vortices that are hopefully going to create um, a spiraling inward effect down behind the hatch and kind of a, a camera back um, instead of having to extend it physically you can put these vortex generators and the vortices will create kind of a camera back flow also what I've got is this is a shark fin type antenna and I'm going to replace the pencil little bobby antenna with the more aerodynamic shark fin. And then lastly, I've got some tape, some vortice generating tape. This is for radio controlled gliders. And I'm gonna use this around the trailing edge of the side view mirrors, all the way around front, um, basically all the way around them. And what that's gonna do is similar to the camera back, it's gonna create vortices that basically a smaller trailing edge around the side view mirror to increase efficiency. So those are the three things that I'm going to do and I'll show you the results once they're finished. Alright guys, so stage two is complete. You can see I've got some vortex generators mounted. I've got my antenna, shark fin antenna mounted. Tried to space these evenly across the top, and then these two also on the sides. So again, what these are going to do, hopefully, is create vortices, which are going to create a camera back like effect to basically reduce the uh, effective size of the rear hatch area and lower drag, lower the drag area behind the car here. So I'll probably see if, it, it's, if it's working correctly. I'll see some more dirt on the windshield. You can see on the normal leaf um, because of this spoiler, because of these 
the shape of the lights here, it already kind of creates a camelback effect. And so the more dirt that you get up here, the more that effect is present. So I should see more dirt uh, if these vortices generators are working correctly. Now the shark fin antenna is actually pretty unaerodynamic the way it's shaped like this. Uh, it, it pleases the eye, but it's it's not very aerodynamic. What it should be is sh there should be uh, a tall, blunt front here, and then it should blend back smoothly as long as possible back here. Uh, but those aren't available for purchase. Maybe if I flip this one around 180 degrees, it would be more effective. But I think this is pretty good. This is going to lower drag over that uh, cylindrical antenna. Because believe it or not, uh, cylinders like that, even if they're very thin, um, they're not very aerodynamic and they'll cause quite a bit of drag. So this is the biggest improvement I think is I've done today. And then next I've got the uh, sailplane tape. And I've got it all the way around the entire mirror. And again, what that's gonna do is hopefully create some vortices, which are gonna shrink the rear profile of this mirror effectively uh, and cause less drag. These are probably not very effective. This is for a sailplane, so it's like a millimeter maybe of uh, height there. So there's not very much. Um, but, you know, every little bit counts on these electric vehicles. So more improvements coming. My commute is about 70 miles every day just from home to work. And then also I like to drive out somewhere on lunch break. Uh, sometimes I need to run errands. So any extra range I can get, I'm willing to take. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more.